Swarf? No, that's not a quote from Scooby-Doo. It's what they call the shavings, chips, and the fine metal particles that are a byproduct of the machining, grinding, and the polishing process at Toyota Motor Manufacturing of West Virginia. The DEP's Brianna Hickman joins us now with more on how what was previously a waste product is now an asset. Greg, the plant in Buffalo produces hundreds of thousands of engines and transmissions each year and generates tons and tons of swarf. A couple of years ago, the plant received a National Pollution Prevention Award for coming up with a way of separating the waste metal shavings from the liquid coolant that ended up mixed in during the machining process. That allowed the coolant to be recycled but left the problem of what to do with the swarf. Enter the machine they call the pucker. Making the parts that make up the engines and transmissions assembled at the plant every day takes a lot of precision machining to turn out the raw castings and forgings into finished pieces. One of the wastes that Toyota produces is Swarf, which uh, it sounds like a funny name, but it is a uh, fine metal paste produced from wet grinding processes. Uh, normally, or in the old times, it used to be landfilled, and since Toyota doesn't landfill any materials anymore, we had to find a reusable uh, method to reclaim that material. Toyota set a goal of zero landfill back in the year 2000, which placed major emphasis on reduce, reuse, and recycle. For Swarf, it's, it's something that's going to come out of the process, no matter what we do, as far as it's one of the byproducts. So finding a recycling method for it was critical, simply because of the weight. Uh, for Toyota Motor Manufacturing West Virginia, it's approximately 50% of our total ha uh, solid waste. Um, so it's a pretty significant amount. Getting rid of the moisture was only part of the problem. Once the paste dried out, the fine metal particles became highly combustible. So combustible, it would vaporize when placed in a blast furnace. Well, uh, a lot like burning steel wool, if you think of it that way. But um, one of the things with this new process is we're making pucks, which uh, it's essentially where the machine is pressing it so hard that it stays in that shape and produces small bricks of, uh, of material. Uh, that can then be recycled and it's actually sent up to AK Steel where they make that into new steel. The swarf goes into the machine where powerful hydraulic rams squeeze it together. The process can turn out a puck every few seconds. We actually mix in a little bit of, we call it CIB, but it's uh, cast iron borings. So there's a little bit of other types of metal mixed in, but it allows it to stay together. Uh, this metal is actually also brought from Georgetown, Kentucky, from our powertrain plant in Georgetown. Uh, so it's a multiple, multiple sites feed into this, but it's about a puck every eight or nine seconds. So a lot of material going through that machine. But don't try playing hockey with these pucks. Uh, probably about 30 pounds each. Uh, so they're, they're, they're fairly hefty, but uh, again, the, the main key is that they stay together to, to make a usable metal product. And bottom line, besides helping the environment, it helps Toyota's bottom line. The Swarf went from a material that was costing Toyota to dispose of to one that's now bringing in an income. For Environment Matters, I'm Brianna Hickman.